Y'all, there's your running water. Yeah. Oh. But we ain't supposed to get mad about this. See, we ain't supposed to be upset about this. I live here. I don't like my house like this. guy named Jeremy he is complaining of, of pain. He had described having blood come out in his stool and throwing out blood. Ryan, he said that he'd been a medic. I said, well, he used to be a medic. Why don't you see what's wrong? I'm a medic in the army and they teach you, you know, some rudimentary stuff with the living creatures and fecal matter in the water. It was a very real possibility that any of us or all of us could have gotten something that could make us sick. He starts pointing to the lower right quadrant of his stomach. Press down. Uh, Let it go. Uh, Let it go. Uh, There's only one real organ there besides, you know, intestine, and, and it's the appendix. Yeah. You got appendicitis, man. Most likely has something like a ruptured appendix and he needs to get somewhere like that. Uh, these don't care about that. Uh, no. Dude, this is not good, man. I'm kicking it. Y'all ain't giving me shot. Exactly. I'll get a shot for him, dude. I'll be he, he might die, man, for real. Ryan came to the conclusion that he needed immediate medical attention. I kind of agree because if you're throwing up blood and blood's coming out of your rectum, you probably need to see a doctor. Hey, no, no. You're welcome to come in here, boy. Yeah. Hey, no, I don't care, man. He needs somebody. He, he might die, man, for real. What? Why are you hanging on the door? We need somebody now, like Why? now. He most likely has appendicitis. He has rebound pain. Your doctor? Huh? Your doctor? I'm a medic in the army. It doesn't matter if I'm a janitor. If someone's throwing up blood, get him the f out of here. All right, what's his last name? I don't know what his last name is. He needs okay, someone like Okay, we're already now. aware of him. Okay. Stop banging on the door. This is not good, though. Look, man. They were actually making me angry by their... They just didn't care. Hey, uh, hey, hey shoot his uh, into a ball, man. It takes pressure off your head. You can die from appendicitis. To know that I could literally be watching a guy's precious moments wasting away, it angered me. It made me want to actually just uh, throw in the towel and start hitting one of the guards. I don't even know how long that thing's going on. You need something now. You, know, I know that you know that, and they don't care. Hey, where's somebody? Dead over there, Mr. Tom. He can't even move. He ain't breathing no more. Okay, I need for you to come out. Okay, let's try to get you up. I'm relieved that he's getting some kind of medical attention. I hope he gets to a hospital. There we go. All right, buddy, go have it. Uh, lay down, okay? That's going to help you here. Give it about 20 more minutes, and it should be helping. You don't have appendicitis? They were just like, oh, I'll just give him a pill. Inmates are not people to these guards, these COs.
To know that I was technically lumped into the category of being less than a human being, it hit me wrong. We're gonna die here. Uh, uh, uh. They were actually making me angry. They would not treat one of the guard staff or you know, a member of their family that way. And the inmates didn't really have recourse other than taking care of themselves. And... One thing at a time, let's go. Let's go, I said one thing at a time. my dog throws up in his kennel and starts bleeding from his rectum, I take him to the vet. It's just inhumane. I feel like I'm about to die. Get these toilet paper. Don't worry, I got a little piece right here. Yeah, I can let you know what I look like. Hey, Snowing. Can I go over there? We got a guy that's uh, kicking his guts out of work. I want to trade us some Real sick, man. Jerry. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know what they gave him, but they're just pussyfooting around. They're like, oh, take this pill, wait 20 minutes, and then we'll call a nurse. With all the stuff that was in the pod, any of us could get sick in the next few days, and it could be us doubled over in pain or dying. It's just not cool. It's, it's really not cool. But if they take time with something that could be fatal, you know, this could be the last night he's alive. He needs to go to a doctor. They don't want to pay for it. We treated Jeremy, and we took his vitals and determined that he's had a 24-hour bug and he's going to be okay. It wasn't quite as bad as appendicitis that Ryan thought that he had. It concerns me a little bit that Ryan is forgetting that he's in an undercover program and that he's inciting inmates to potentially do bad things. 